Thank you. So you went to driving school. They use good equipment to those schools, don't they? All the latest stuff. Well, sure. They were In the annals of classic television, Highway Patrol stands out as a popular syndicated series. This action crime drama, starring Broderick Crawford, aired from 1955 to 1959, and featured Crawford's character, Dan Matthews, leading the police force in a western state. Matthews, played by Crawford, was a no-nonsense, dedicated chief, known for his gruff demeanor. The show's enduring popularity attests to its quality and the enduring appeal of its main character. Delve into the world of this timeless series and meet Dan Matthews, a true icon of television's golden age. What'd you bring it here for? So maybe you go back into town. You're doing a good job. I feel the 1955 TV series Highway Patrol was based on authentic stories from the files of Highway Patrol headquarters throughout the country. This classic show focused on pursuing and arresting criminals like smugglers, hijackers, and robbers. The creators of this series wanted to ensure its authenticity, so they enlisted the help of two technical advisors. One of the technical advisors was an active patrolman, bringing his first-hand experience and knowledge to the production. He read the scripts and provided valuable insights to make the scenes more realistic. His presence during filming ensured that the actors portrayed the patrolman accurately, from their uniforms to their actions in the field. The other technical advisor was a retired patrolman, offering his wealth of experience and expertise to the show. With years of service under his belt, he had a wealth of knowledge about the challenges and triumphs of working in highway patrol. He reviewed the scripts and offered suggestions to make the stories more authentic and engaging. Both advisors were present during filming to answer questions and provide guidance. Their contributions helped create a show that resonated with audiences, offering a glimpse into the world of highway patrol and the thrilling pursuits that come with the job. This classic series remains a testament to their expertise and dedication to authentic storytelling. Aren't many nice people around, lady. Now, this is an emergency call, Mom. The classic TV series Highway Patrol, produced by Ziv Television Programs, is known for its signature shot of the lead actor, Broderick Crawford, barking rapid-fire dialogue into a radio microphone while leaning against the door of his black and white patrol car. Crawford's acting style was distinctive, often coming across as gruff and bordering on rudeness. In April 1955, Crawford was signed as the lead actor for this groundbreaking series. The show was one of the first to depict the daily life of a highway patrol officer, showcasing the challenges and dangers they face while keeping the roads safe. The production details of Highway Patrol were impressive, with a focus on realism and attention to detail. The show's writers worked closely with law enforcement officials to ensure that the stories and procedures depicted were accurate and authentic. This commitment to realism helped make the series a hit with audiences, who found the action-packed episodes both exciting and educational. One of the most iconic elements of Highway Patrol is the use of the radio microphone. Crawford's character, Dan Matthews, can often be seen leaning against his patrol car, barking orders and instructions into the microphone. This signature shot became synonymous with the series and helped establish Crawford as a tough guy leading man. In addition to its realism and exciting action, Highway Patrol is also notable for its use of location shooting. The series was filmed on location in and around Los Angeles, giving the show a gritty, authentic feel. This approach was unusual for the time as many TV shows were still being filmed on sound stages. Overall, Highway Patrol is a classic example of 1950s television at its best. With its focus on realism, exciting action, and distinctive lead actor, the series remains a popular favorite among older adults who grew up watching it. And who can forget that signature shot of Crawford with the radio microphone, a symbol of the show's commitment to authenticity and excitement. No, I don't think so. He's hurt pretty bad. He'll stick to the regular trails. He doesn't want to take a chance on getting lost again. Could be. I'll get the man. Okay. The TV series Highway Patrol made its debut on October 3, 1955, with a thrilling episode titled Prison Break. Initially, it ranked second in ratings, following closely behind the popular show I Love Lucy. The production of Highway Patrol was quite prolific, with a total of 156 episodes spread over its four-season run. Throughout its run, the show featured many actors who later became successful stars in their own right. Among them were Stuart Whitman, Clint Eastwood, Robert Conrad, Larry Hagman, and Leonard Nimoy. These actors honed their craft in Highway Patrol, contributing to the show's appeal and enduring legacy. The series focused on the fast-paced, 
an often dangerous world of highway patrol officers showcasing their bravery and dedication to keeping the roads safe. With its gripping storylines and talented cast, Highway Patrol quickly became a favorite among television audiences of the time. Face and hands are dirty. Look like you've been working on a car or something. What was he working? Highway Patrol is a classic television series that gained popularity for its location shooting. The show's producers chose to film many scenes in and around the San Fernando Valley and Simi Valley in California. These locations provided the perfect backdrop for the high-speed car chases and dramatic rescues that the series is known for. In addition to the San Fernando and Simi Valleys, the show's filming also took place in other notable locations around Los Angeles. For instance, Griffith Park and Bronson Canyon served as the setting for several action-packed scenes. These locations offered a diverse range of landscapes, from dense forests to rugged canyons, which added to the show's visual appeal. The use of real-life locations in Highway Patrol was a deliberate choice by the show's creators. By filming on location, they aimed to create a more authentic and immersive viewing experience for audiences. This decision paid off, as the show quickly gained a loyal following and became one of the most popular television series of its time. Today, Highway Patrol remains a beloved classic, and its filming locations continue to be a topic of interest for fans of the show. The series serves as a time capsule, capturing the unique beauty and character of California in the 1950s. Whether you're a fan of classic television or simply appreciate the art of filmmaking, Highway Patrol is definitely worth a watch. 2214, go ahead. Got a worried mother just off the highway, 10 miles north of you. In the 1955 TV series Highway Patrol, the officers' uniforms were a faithful replication of those worn by the California Highway Patrol, with a few minor adjustments. The shoulder patch underwent slight modifications throughout different seasons, lending an air of authenticity to the show. This classic series, set in an unidentified western state that shares a border with New Mexico, was brought to life by the narration of Art Gilmore. His voiceover work gave the show a documentary-like feel, providing viewers with a glimpse into the operations of a state police agency. The attention to detail in the uniforms and the realistic narration helped to immerse audiences in the world of Highway Patrol. All fixed up for. Highway Patrol, a 1955 TV series, is remembered for its innovative use of technology and realism. The show featured two-way radio communication among patrol cars and headquarters with heavy use of police codes like 10-4. This groundbreaking approach allowed viewers to experience the thrilling world of law enforcement in a more authentic way. The California Highway Patrol played a crucial role in the production of the show during its first two seasons. The show's producers were granted permission to rent actual CHP squad cars with modified logos and studio license plates. This collaboration added a level of realism that was unprecedented for the time, making the show stand out from its contemporaries. The use of real CHP vehicles and logos was not just for show, it also served a practical purpose. By using actual patrol cars, the production team was able to create a more accurate representation of the vehicles used by the CHP. The modified logos and studio license plates further added to the authenticity, ensuring that the show remained true to life. The collaboration between Highway Patrol and the CHP was a significant one, as it allowed the show to gain the support and endorsement of a major law enforcement agency. This partnership helped to establish the show's credibility and made it a must-watch for audiences interested in the world of law enforcement. In conclusion, Highway Patrol was a groundbreaking TV series that pushed the boundaries of what was possible in the world of television. The show's use of two-way radio communication and police codes, along with its collaboration with the California Highway Patrol, helped to create a more authentic and engaging viewing experience for audiences. The show's legacy continues to be felt today, as it remains a classic example of the power of innovation and realism in television. He might have been pretty well dressed up. I'd say he's about 5 feet 9, 165 pounds. Wait a minute, uh, that face is familiar. In the 1950s, a groundbreaking TV series called Highway Patrol hit the airwaves, captivating audiences with its thrilling stories of law enforcement on California's highways. The show's producers wanted to ensure that the vehicles used by the characters were as authentic as possible, so they turned to the California Highway Patrol for help. The CHP provided the show with specially built 1955 Buick Century two-door sedans 
which were designed specifically for the agency's duties at the time. These cars were never sold to the public, making them truly unique to the show. What made these cars so well suited for the CHP's duties? For starters, they were built for speed and durability with powerful engines and sturdy frames that could withstand the rigors of high-speed pursuits and accidents. Additionally, they were equipped with a range of specialized equipment, such as radios and sirens, that allowed the CHP to communicate and respond to emergencies more effectively. However, it's important to note that the focus of the CHP's duties in the 1950s was different from what it is today. Back then, the agency placed a greater emphasis on accident investigations and enforcement rather than arrests. As a result, the cars used in Highway Patrol were designed with these priorities in mind, with plenty of space for officers to take notes and collect evidence at the scene of an accident. Today, the cars used by the CHP are much different from those seen in Highway Patrol, reflecting the agency's evolving role in law enforcement. But the legacy of this classic TV series lives on, reminding us of a time when the open road was a little more wild, and the men and women of the CHP were true heroes of the highway. Going off of fast. Are you sure of your ground? I found what I found on my claim. In the television series Highway Patrol, the call sign used by the main character, Dan Matthews, held a special significance. His call sign, 2150, was not randomly assigned. It was the actual unit number of then CIP Commissioner Bernard Caldwell. This detail added a layer of authenticity to the show, making it more relatable to the real-world operations of the CHP. However, this authenticity was short-lived. In mid-1956, the CHP decided to withdraw its support for the series due to differences in storylines and their presentation. This decision had a significant impact on the production of the show. With the withdrawal of the CHP support, the producers had to find alternative ways to complete the season. One of the most noticeable changes was the use of inaccurate Buick Super 4-door hardtops to replace the authentic CHP vehicles. This change was a departure from the show's original commitment to authenticity and reflected the challenges faced by the production team after the withdrawal of the CHP support. Despite these challenges, the show continued to air and the changes went largely unnoticed by the audience. In conclusion, the call sign used by Dan Matthews in Highway Patrol was not just a random number, but held a special significance, being the actual unit number of the then CHP commissioner. However, the withdrawal of the CHP support in mid-1956 led to a significant change in the show's production with the use of inaccurate vehicles. Despite these changes, the show continued to be popular among the audience, showcasing the resilience of the production team. Watch that. I got you covered all over. In the 1955 TV series, Highway Patrol, Broderick Crawford took on the role of Dan Matthews, a dedicated Highway Patrol officer. This classic show, known for its action-packed episodes and gripping storylines, followed Matthews and his team as they worked tirelessly to maintain law and order on the highways and roads of America. Fast forward to 1977, and Broderick Crawford made a memorable cameo in the season one episode of Chips titled Hustle. In this episode, Crawford played himself, and viewers were treated to a unique interaction between the veteran actor and officer John Baker, portrayed by Larry Wilcox. During the episode, Crawford's character was pulled over for running a stop sign, and Officer Baker was the lucky patrolman who got to issue the citation. Despite the initial tension, Crawford's character took the traffic stop in stride, and the two men engaged in a friendly conversation about the old days of Highway Patrol. This brief but memorable appearance by Broderick Crawford and Chips was a nod to his iconic role in Highway Patrol and a treat for fans of both shows. It was a rare opportunity to see a beloved actor interact with a new generation of law enforcement officers, and it served as a reminder of the enduring legacy of Highway Patrol and the impact it had on television history. As for Crawford, his appearance in Chips was just one of many highlights in a long and storied career. From his early days on the stage to his later work in film and television, Crawford was a versatile actor who left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. His portrayal of Dan Matthews in Highway Patrol remains one of his most memorable roles, and it continues to resonate with audiences to this day. In the end, Broderick Crawford's cameo in Chips was a fitting tribute to a classic TV series and a beloved actor. It was a moment that brought together two generations of law enforcement officers and showcased the enduring appeal of Broderick Crawford's unforgettable performances. 
Whether you're a fan of Highway Patrol or Chips, or simply appreciate great acting, this brief but memorable appearance is definitely worth a watch. It's not going to be that easy. As you can see with the colors here, a lot of them are very close to what you thought you saw. So go through it and take the time. In the classic television series Highway Patrol, each episode concluded with an important safety announcement. The show's star, Roderick Crawford, took it upon himself to remind viewers of the importance of road safety. One of his most famous lines from these announcements was, Leave your blood at the Red Cross, not on the highway. These words served as a stark reminder of the dangers of reckless driving and the importance of giving blood to help those in need. Crawford's safety announcements were a highlight of the show for many viewers, and they left a lasting impact. His powerful delivery and straightforward message resonated with audiences, making them think twice about their actions on the road. The announcements were a testament to Crawford's commitment to using his platform for good, and they helped to make Highway Patrol more than just a thrilling police drama. The safety announcements were a unique feature of Highway Patrol, and they set the show apart from other police dramas of the time. By focusing on the importance of road safety, Crawford and the show's creators demonstrated a commitment to making a positive impact on their viewers. The announcements were a powerful reminder that even in the midst of high-speed chases and dangerous criminals, there were larger issues at stake. In the end, Crawford's safety announcements were a fitting conclusion to each episode of Highway Patrol. They left viewers with something to think about, and they helped to reinforce the show's message of responsibility and caution. For Crawford, the safety announcements were an opportunity to use his fame and influence for good, and to remind viewers of the importance of making safe choices on the road. So, as the show signed off each week, Crawford's words of wisdom remained with viewers, serving as a powerful reminder of the importance of road safety. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I'll 10 in about 30 minutes. In the mid-1950s, Highway Patrol emerged as a popular television series, capturing the attention of many viewers. The production company behind this classic show took great care to ensure that it did not exploit any children or minors. The series writer's guide explicitly forbade depictions of juvenile delinquents, reflecting a determined effort to maintain a responsible and respectful approach. As the show gained popularity, the producers focused on creating engaging and action-packed episodes, often featuring high-speed car chases and intense rescue missions. The series became known for its thrilling and suspenseful storylines, which highlighted the dangers and challenges faced by highway patrol officers. Despite the show's success, Highway Patrol eventually came to an end. When asked about the reason for its conclusion, the show's star, Broderick Crawford, simply stated that they had run out of crimes to feature. However, the truth behind the show's ending was somewhat different. Crawford, who played the lead role of Chief Dan Matthews, had grown weary of the hectic television schedule. The demanding production pace had taken a toll on him, increasing his drinking and negatively affecting his overall well-being. In the end, Highway Patrol remains a significant and memorable television series, leaving a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Its commitment to avoiding exploitation and its thrilling storylines continue to captivate audiences, making it a classic worth revisiting. Get in there, hurry it up. Why? What for? Don't ask questions. That thing won't hold four. Somebody's gonna have to stay with this gun-happy character. In the 1950s, Highway Patrol was a popular television series that captivated audiences with its thrilling stories of law enforcement. One particular incident involving the show's star, Roderick Crawford, made headlines and became a topic of conversation. Crawford, who played the no-nonsense chief Dan Matthews in the series, had a troublesome encounter with a young dancer named Virginia Rangel. Rangel, who performed in strip clubs under the name Linda Dell, became infatuated with Crawford and decided to take drastic measures to get his attention. While Crawford was in London, Rangel ordered a moving company to remove 25,000 worth of furniture and personal belongings from his house. The moving company, unaware of Rangel's intentions, followed her orders and took possession of Crawford's belongings. When Crawford returned home and discovered what had happened, he was understandably upset. He contacted the authorities and Rangel was arrested for her role in the theft. Fortunately, all of Crawford's stolen belongings were recovered and returned to him. The incident with Virginia Rangel was just one of many that occurred during the filming of Highway Patrol. Despite the occasional drama off-screen, the show remained a favorite among viewers and is still remembered fondly today as a classic of its time. Where are you? The gas station at the top of the hill, the end of Route 9. All right, 
1955, Highway Patrol made its debut on television screens across the country. The show followed the adventures of a dedicated group of Highway Patrol officers as they worked to keep the roads safe. One of the officers, Officer Rangel, found herself in legal trouble during the show's run. Rangel was accused of a crime and pled not guilty. However, there is no information available on the final legal outcome of her case or whether she served any jail time. Despite this, she continued to appear on the show and perform her duties as a Highway Patrol officer. Highway Patrol was a groundbreaking show for its time with its realistic portrayal of the work of Highway Patrol officers. It was one of the first shows to use actual police cars and equipment and the stunts and action sequences were thrilling and exciting. The show's popularity helped to launch the careers of many of its actors, and it remains a classic of early television. The show's creator, Broderick Crawford, was already a well-known actor when he was cast as the lead in Highway Patrol. He brought a level of gravitas and professionalism to the role that helped to make the show a success. Crawford's performance as the tough, but fair chief Dan Matthews earned him critical acclaim and a devoted following among viewers. Despite the legal troubles of one of its officers, Highway Patrol remained a popular and influential show throughout its run. Its gritty, realistic portrayal of the work of Highway Patrol officers helped to pave the way for future police dramas and action shows. And while the final legal outcome of Officer Rangel's case remains a mystery, her presence on the show served as a reminder that even the most dedicated public servants are not immune from the challenges and struggles of everyday life. Yo.